Okay, welcome back. We are finished with our editing on this um, first video podcast, and I'm ready to um, take it out and uh, I'm ready to ask iMovie to create a version of it that I can share. So right up underneath the share menu across the top, you'll see a whole bunch of options, and they can be a bit um, misleading. The, the top three, iTunes, iDVD, and uh, Media Browser, um, whoop, sorry, didn't mean to click that. Um, the one, they're sort of specific uses, so if you wanted iTunes to manage this and you want to put it under your iPod, um, you can send it straight over um, so that iTunes knows about it, and you can find it in iTunes if you wanted it. You're using iTunes to find and manage your stuff. Um, obviously, iDVD, if you're going to put it onto a DVD, it wants to package this, pro 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 this project up and start up iDVD and get right to work on it. Um, the media browser is a, actually a very nice place to send it because if you are in any of the other iLive tools, you can find this project in the media browser. Um, YouTube, if you have a YouTube account, you can send this straight to YouTube. Um, Mobile Me, same thing. Now, I'm going to use this one down here, Export Movie. This is probably the most generic. This just means give me a copy of this and then, and then I'll choose what to do with it. Okay, So I'm going to choose Export Movie. Um, and then it wants to know where you want to put it. Now, if this whole window doesn't come up, it may come up just like that. So you could you could browse to the spot you want it to be using this menu. So I want to go to the desktop, but then I still can't see everything. So um, if you want more options, click that little blue chiclet there on the end. Then I get my normal um, finder window that comes up. So on the desktop. I want this to go into the um, my temperature folder, okay? So I just make sure I tell it is you know I need to be very overt. I tell it exactly where I want it to go, okay? And then it's asking me in this next window down, um, iMovie wants to know what size to export. So you can see I have um, right now I have four selections because I did I don't didn't have I, I HD content, so that's not an option. Um, so I can choose any of these, or I could export this multiple times. Uh, and choose different ones. So uh, to save a little file space and this medium size is good for um, is good for just about any use. Okay, now it's not it says it's not good for the iPhone use. It's just because um, it needs to be scaled a little bit different. But you could still do it medium. And if you uploaded this into um, uh, a p actual podcast, somebody could still watch it on their iPhone. Uh, there's some little information buttons on the end of each one of these so if I put my cursor over that I can see some more info uh, it'll tell me actually what the file size is going to be you can see that if I do this medium it's going to be 23 megabytes if I do it um, the large size it's going to be almost 60 megabytes and so on okay so I'm just going to do this medium one click export off it goes starting to export this out now um, it did that pretty fast because it was the second time I'd exported it uh, and it kind of remembered and already had the files available. This two minute video uh, that I've created here did take a couple of minutes when I did when I did export but I kind of had this set up kind of like a cooking show right where I already have part of it finished um, so I could show you without you having to wait. So let me just go out here to the uh, desktop where I had this saved. So there's um, the episode. There's a little one I just did but this was the first one so I gave it a name, um, the EMAD temperature episode number one. So if I wanted to watch that to see how it looked, I could double click on it and QuickTime opens up and it plays what I've put in. So there's my music, here comes my narration. The tool that measures temperature is the thermometer. So the scale used by most scientists um, is the Celsius scale. It looks scale, okay, named after the volume's a little low. I want to go check okay, this so video back enough. here. So all you have to do to stop the recording is just click Okay, shipped to another ship knot the other day. It's a knot that can be was used. So I definitely want to um, play it through, watch it, see how it looks. If there's a problem, uh, and I didn't like how it looked, or I needed to fix something, uh, the project is still here in iMovie. Even if you've turned iMovie off, this project window down here is getting saved automatically. You may know. Notice that up in the file menu, there's no place that says save project. That's happening automatically. 
Okay, so this one that I just created is ending up here in my project library. So you can see it's that top one. Um, so if I was working on something else, like maybe I was working on this video, um, so if I click that, let, let's just go work on that. So if I had been working on this for whatever reason, and then I wanted to work back on my temperature podcast, I can just come back to the temperature one, double click on it here, it opens back up, I can make the, make, whoops, sorry, I can make the necessary changes, and then um, without too much trouble, I can, uh, maybe I want a different background here on the first, so I'm going to go with that one. I can make the changes and then I can re-export this or I shouldn't say export, I can share it and export the movie um, out again. I might name it something different so I know it's a different version than my first one but I could go through that process as much as I needed to. But it'll always be here in the project library until I take it out. Okay? If I do have a project in here that I want to remove, I don't want it around anymore, I can select it and under the file menu I can move project to trash. So I just want it to go away. When I do that, that does not delete the video. Okay, the video is up here in the event library. Okay, so the event library is my big filing cabinet that I could grab pieces of whatever these videos are and use them in any project. So just by deleting a project does not delete the video, um, the raw footage. Okay, so that's our um, basic uh, set of tutorials on how to create a podcast using uh, a video podcast using iMovie. Um, thanks for watching.